You've seen the crazy old footage from Europe, or maybe you've played the Colin McRae or Dirt Rally games. But did you know that North America has an equally long history of rallying? The sport of rally in America is one of the last motorsports where amateurs can line up against factory teams on the same roads and put their skills to the test. If you want to learn more or get involved yourself, this is your Rally 101 Primer. Rally events are a test of speed, endurance and perseverance. Held on closed forest roads, a rally consists of competitive timed sections called stages linked together by transits, which are driven on open roads at legal speeds. Teams are sent on the stages one by one against the clock and the team with the lowest combined time over multiple stages is determined the winner. American stages have a reputation of being some of the fastest in the world, which also means the top cars here are built to suit. In American Rally, competitors run everything from open-class all-wheel drive factory-built machines such as this Subaru, down to cost-effective two-wheel drive machines. They all start life as a production car and then modified according to budget and preparation level to fit into a specific competition class. Highly modified all-wheel drive and two-wheel drive open-class cars are the fastest of the bunch, while the limited or production class cars are more showroom stock with safety and minor performance modifications allowed. Whatever the class though, they have to remain fully street legal and insured, including this weapon of a factory Subaru. So a closer look. <laughs> I'm tall. Travis is tall. I'm out of practice. Like all rally cars, this Subaru started life as a bone stock STI on the showroom floor. Then here at Vermont Sports Car, they tear it down to a bare shell and then set about installing the safety essentials that every rally car must have. So, a big roll cage to protect you in the event of a rollover or going off the road. Sorry, John. Super tight seats to hold you in along with these six point harnesses. Lux, Gibby. <laughs> Open class is where performance modifications are allowed to shine, but still within limits. So this Subaru has a manual sequential gearbox, shaving off tenths of a second with every gear change. <laughs> rally is notoriously tough on equipment, so good suspension is a key element of any rally car. There's no point in having the most powerful engine if you can't carry speed over the roughest terrain. The factory Subarus are fitted with these. This is a top of the line Riga damper. You have these on your road car, but nowhere near as big as this. This shaft is much bigger for strength. This spring is much stronger for handling. And then this reservoir at the bottom for when things get really tough. Now, should you reach the limit of these, you'll be relying on this. Now this is a skid plate. This is bolted to the bottom of the car. What it's made of, how thick it is, how heavy it is, varies according to how rough the rally is. But that will protect things like your engine and transmission if they touch down on the road. When it comes to power, most open class all-wheel drive cars these days are turbocharged. This is a turbocharger and it allows you to force more air into the engine and make more power. Now without rules, the engineers would go really mad. So this thing here is a restrictor, 34 millimeters, and it puts a limit to what power we can make. With one of these under the hood of the WRX STI, we're looking at around 330 brake horsepower and 400 pound foot of torque. Now, of course, getting all that power down from under the hood onto the road in differing weather and dirt conditions means we need a selection of tires. Now, this side here, this is the tire that you would have on your stock WRX STI. It's suitable for tarmac and it's suitable for wet and dry summer and winter. We rally in much harsher conditions. So this one here, this is a snow tire. Big blocks, soft compound helps to cut down into the surface. Gravel, similar, the blocks are a little bit closer together. It's a harder compound. There's protection in the sidewalls here in case you get into those sharp rocks at the side of the road. Now we're moving on to tarmac tires. If we had a full tarmac stage, this is the tire that we would use. Because it's got some tread cut into it, it's still road legal, meaning we can do those transit sections. This one is not road legal. This one's special. This is for Jim Carner. This is for Mount Washington where there's no transit sections. It's ultimate grip, but it's a full slick and it's not road legal. That is the full selection of tyres. What with these variables and the amount of prep that goes into a rally car, that's where the team comes in. Rally is a true team sport. With cars receiving a beating from rough roads or a slight excursion into the scenery, a rally car can be saved by the efforts of the service crew. 
The factory teams are well prepared with spare parts and multiple technicians per car, but some grassroots teams show up with just a basic spares package ready to do all the work themselves. And if anyone needs a little extra help, the other teams are often willing to lend a hand. Because rally doesn't involve any wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing, there's a friendly atmosphere in the service park. All the teams are facing the same adversary in the end, the elements and the clock. Yeah. Oh, dear. Speaking of clocks, there is another element of teamwork at play in a rally car which is unique in motorsports. And that's the person sitting in this second seat, the brave co-driver. Max right, six plus over crest, Kings 200. Slowing turn left, two plus, caution lay in. And the co-driver or navigator not only tells the driver what's coming up on the road ahead, but also acts as office manager here in the rally car. Their job involves calculating times, communicating with event officials, and sometimes acting as a motivational speaker or psychologist to the driver. Good job, mate. Good, Good job. But the key thing co-drivers do is, through a series of code words, paint a picture of the road ahead for the driver. In the days before a rally, the driver and co-driver are given the opportunity to drive the stages at slow speeds to make their pace notes. This is called the recce. The fastest drivers are the ones who drive to what they hear, not what they see. Care, left five plus, slowing crest 55, turn left one, 30. Max right five long down, 70. Left six over bridge, and right four plus short. Left six. 20, right five plus over 30, hug tightens four. Right five plus over 30, hug tightens four. And left four opens, 15. Max left six opens over two long crests, 35. Slippy left five narrow, 50. Committing fully to pace notes takes a lot of trust between the driver and co-driver, perhaps the ultimate test of teamwork. Okay, so you like what you see, you want to get involved, where do you start? First up, get in touch with the sanctioning body and find out where your local event is. You can go along and be a volunteer, maybe a marshal, maybe a timekeeper, learn how the event works, interact with the drivers, the co-drivers and the teams. If you want to take it a step further, think about building or buying a car, being a driver or a co-driver, then head along to a rally school. They're all around the country, places like Dirtfish, Team O'Neill and Rally Ready to take your first steps into this brilliant sport. Whatever you decide, you will have a ton of fun. Welcome to the Rally family.